previously with binary, you would have learned to do simple conversions by going 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 128. And that's just a standard number. So if I needed to make number 22, I would turn 16, 4, and 2 on, and the rest would be left blank. And also, we went over how you can actually do two's complement and represent negative numbers. So I'm just going to write that out, two's complement, by doing a really easy method, such as working out your number as a positive. So I know that minus 8, 4, 2, and 1. If I turned on minus 8 and turned on the 4, the 2, and the 1, that would be equal to minus 1. Now, there are other ways of doing 2's complement, just as a rundown. Just writing this out. I might want to make the number 7. Now, what I would do, sorry, I might want to make the number minus 7. So, what I would do to begin with is I'd work out what the number 7 is is so one two four eight so obviously we know that that's going to be minus eight but in this case we're working out the the positive of it first then what you do is you flip or invert that and add one so 0 plus 1 is 1, 0, 0, 8, minus 8. So that, if I was to move it down again, just so you can see that, is 1, 2, 4, minus 8. So minus 8 was turned on, a 0, and a 0, and a positive 1. That equals minus 7. So that's what we went over recently for... Two's complement. Now, what we're going to go over now is I'm just going to go over just a quick example of representing real numbers. So if you've got to represent a decimal number, and this is called floating point binary. So floating point binary. And this is just part one in this video set, I'm going to do some other videos. Now the way that floating point binary works is that you end up with a mantissa and an exponent. So if we've got a mantissa, so if you've done maths before, you may have done this, and an exponent. These numbers are both represented in binary format. So I would have 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. And in this mantissa, I'm going to have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. Now, what you do is you work out what each of those are. All right? So this is the number as it stands at the moment. But if I was to work out the exponent, I can see it's 1, 2, 4. So I know my exponent is a positive 4, which means that the binary point has floated 4 places to the left. Okay, so what I do is I look at this number and at my first point where the numbers are different, which is there, just put in 0 0.1001010100. So the number originally pointed four places to the left, which means now it's got to go back. So we're going to go to the right. So the way this works is I'm going to move this 1, 2, 3, 4. So basically, essentially, what you would end up with is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1.01000. Now, 1, 2, 4, Eight. That is 9. We know that that number is now 9. But then after that, you've got the point. And each point, just to show you, is represents a different value. So if my point is here, 
any numbers after would be half, then a quarter, then an eighth, then a sixteenth, 32, 64, 128, and so on. So here, we've got nothing for a half, but we've got a value for a quarter. So that number that we've made is 9.25. So we've worked out, so just to go through those steps again, you are given an exponent, you are given your mantissa, what you do is work out what the exponent was. And because it's positive, it meant that it was going to the left by 4. If it was negative, it means that it's gone right. But it's gone left. So in this case, we've got to get it to go back. So that was left. So now I've moved right 4 places. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I wrote out the number again here. And I could see that that was 9. To work out the value of this, I worked out the place value, as so on, and I know that a quarter is 0.25. So what I've got there is I've added those together, and that's gave me 9.25. Now that is an example where both the mantissa was positive and the exponent was positive. I'm going to show you how to do negative numbers in the next video.